بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پیٹرن آف افل So in Arabic, both comparative and superlative degree are on the pattern of Afalu. So Ajmanu is used for both comparative and superlative degree. Agdamu is used for both comparative and superlative degree. Sam for Askaru and Asu. Since they are on the pattern of Afalu, so this means they are Mamnu Minasarf. They cannot accept Tanveen. If after the Afalu pattern, if a word with uh, on the pattern of ajmalu asgaru if after it we have harfijat min then this mean this afalu is representing comparative degree if you see a word min after the afalu pattern like here atwalu after atwalu we have min this mean it is rep representing comparative degree But if after the afal pattern we have muzafile, like here we have muzafile, ahsanu talibin, akdamu jamiyatin, then this mean it is representing superlative degree. Okay. So in this way we will do this one. Ms. Rama, start. السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام In this lesson we learn the following comparative and superlative degrees of the objective adjective and the comparative degree are on the pattern of of all like like Ajmal, more beautiful. Ahsan, better. Asfar, Asgor, smaller. Akdam, Akdam, Oda. Akdamu. Akdamu, Oda. As we have already learned word on this pattern, a uh, pattern, a uh, a so, a sorry. Mamnu un minasar. Dictative and so have no Dictative and so have no tenwin. Afan is following by min dan. Sample um, ha hamid at one Min Bilal. Then, Hamid is taller than Bilal. Afal is the same for masculine, feminine, singular, and plural. Bilal actual min Amina too. Bilal is taller than Amina. Amina too actual min Bilal. Aminatu is taller than Bilal. Al Ali Abinau Atwal Min Minal Banat. The sons are taller than the daughters. Al Ban Al Banat Atwal Minal Abnai. The daughters are taller than the sons. Note the following example where in mean is followed by pronoun. Anta ahsan minni. You are better than I. Ana aksor minka. I am shorter than you. Hum ak akbar minna. 
sin sin na they are older than we. Half anu is also used for this disparative degrees. In so this case, because of a major mean, we are using the majrood form of the pronoun. Na. And when we have our featured mean, this mean the afalu is representing the comparative degree. Now you will learn the superlative degree, Miss Serena. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum as salam. Okay. I read uh, from the note. Here, afalu is also used for. Ah, uh, yeah. Of alu is also used for the superlative degree. In this case, it is followed by a major noun. So read the note. Note, also. note that in mini the noon has sada. There is no sada with other pronouns. Um, um, minhu, minka, minha, minhum, but minna has sada because it is made up of min and na. And then note number two, sinu means age. Akbaru sinu, sinu or what? Sinna. Sinna. Akbaru sinna. Literally means bigger in age. Okay. Next. Mm. Ibrahimu asanu tolibin fil madrasati. Ibrahim is the best student in the school. Al ajaharu akdamu jamiatin. Fil Alami Al Azhar is the oldest university in the world. Patimatu Akbaru Talibatin Fi Fasalina. Fatima is the eldest student in our class. The Arabic name for both the comparative and superlative degrees is. Af and So when does Afalu represent comparative degree and when does it represent superlative degree? Hmm? When Afalu represents comparative degree and when when the same word represents superlative degree. I'm not understanding what your question. My question is this that you will see many words on the pattern of Afalu, like Agdamu, Asgaru, Asanu. How will you know that this word Asanu, Asgaru is in comparative degree or is it in superlative degree? Anyone else can tell me? It's comparative degree. Sorry? How? Asgaru. If after Asanu, Asgaru, we have our feature min, this mean it is comparative degree, okay? If it has okay. our feature min after it, then this mean it is comparative degree. Okay. If it is has mudaf ilay after it, then this mean it is superlative degree. Okay. okay. Next we have the word walakinna and kanna. Satya. Assalamu alaikum sir. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, point number two, Walikinna, but is one of the sister of 
inna. And so act, acts like inna. For example, uh, Bilalun. Mujtahidun walikinna Bilalun mujtahidun walikinna hamidun kaslanun Hamidun Lakinna makes it makes Yeah uh, Bilalun mujtahidun walikinna hamidun kaslanu Bilal is hard working but Hamid is lazy Then Aki mutasawijun. Aki mutasawijun. Walikin ni asbun. Asabun. Aki mutasawijun. Walikin ni asabun. My brother is married, but I am a bachelor. Then, sayarati kadimatun. Sayarati kadimatun. Walekin ha kaviyatun. Walekin ha kaviyatun. My car is old, but it is strong. Hmm. Hey, your sound is better. Usually it is very low. But today it oh. is good. What? Read the point number three also. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, Kaanna. Kaanna? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ka Anna is one of the sister of Inna. And so the noun, noun following it is Mansub. It means um, it looks as if. Example Ka Anna Imama Maridun. Ka Anna Imama. Ka Anna. Ka Anna Imama. Oh, Ka Anna Imama. Kaanal imama. Kaanal imama maridun. It looks as if the iman is sick. What? Man hasi hil fatatu. Man hasi hil fatatu. Kaanaha uktuka. Kaanaha uktuka. Who is this girl? It looks as if she is your sister. Kaanna hasihi sayyaratta lahu. It looks as if this car belongs to him. Kaanna ka minal hindi. You seem to be from India. Now we will learn the counting from 11 to 20. Miss Kinja, tell me masculine counting from 1 to 10 for some masculine thing like 1 student, 2 students, 3 students, till 10 students. Kinja. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. <laughs> Miss Amina, Ahada Ashara wrong. One to ten. Amina Abdi Asan, do you remember the counting from one to ten? For masculine? Yes, one student. Talibun Wahid. Talibun Wahidun. Talibun Wahidun. Isnanu Talibun. Talibani Isnani Manut comes first. Then comes Tanat. Talibani Nani. Salasata Tulabin. Salasatu Tulabin. Salasatu Tulabin. Arbaatu Tulabin. Khamsatu Tulabin. Sitatu Tulabin. Sabatu to Labin Saba Sadis Tamani Tamania to Tulabin? Yes. Okay, Tamania to Tulabin 
تسعة طلاب عشرة طلاب. Okay, now we will learn the counting for eleven to twenty. Give me a minute. Okay, Amin Abdiyasan, read point number four. Okay. The, no the numbers from 11 to 20 with a masculine ma'adud, those numbers are combined. They consist of two, but the ma'adud is singular, mansur. 11 stars. أحد عشرة كوكبا تسعة عشرة عشرة مسكولين أو oh, sorry تسعة عشرة كتبا نينتين بوكس كتابا يا سوري كتابا نينتين بوكس so numbers from eleven till ninety nine this singular and it is Mansoor. Next. We will deal with those numbers under the four heads. And numbers 11 and 12. Here, both parts agree with the Madud. Ahadata Asharata. Ahadata Ashara. The 11, 11 male students. This is a Asharata Talibatan. 11 female students. Antuna Ashara Ashara Taliban. Ithna. Ithna Ashara Daliban. Eleven male students. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve male students. Ithna Tana. Ithna Tana Ashara Ta. Talibatan. Ithna Ta. Ashara Ta. Ithna Ta Ashara Ta. Talibatan. Two female students. Twelve. Numbers from 13 to 19. Twelve. Sorry. Numbers from 13 to 19. Here the second part appears with the Madud and the first part does not. Your sound is not clear. I think you have some internet problem. Miss Kinza, read this point number B. Numbers from 13 to 19. Here the second part agrees with the madud and the first part does not. For example, Salasata Ashara Taliban. Salasata Asharata Talibatan. Salasa Asharata Talibatan. As you can see in Salasata Ashara Taliban, the madud Taliban is masculine. So the second part of the number Ashara is masculine while the first part Salasata is feminine as indicated by the Ta Marbuta ending. Yes. In Salasa Asharata Talibatan, the Madhu Talibatan is feminine. So the second part of the number Asharata is also feminine. While the first part, Salasa, is masculine as indicated by the absence of Tamar Buddha. In this lesson, we learn these numbers only with the masculine Madhud. We will learn them again with the feminine Madhud in lesson 6.
Do you know what is Mabni and what is Morab? Mabni? Yes, mm. what is Mabni noun and what is Morab? No, don't know. Do you know what is the Arab? Sorry? What are, do you know what is Arab? Arab, yes, there's a British. And then Arab, what is Haraka? Arkan? Harakat. Haraka, yes, there's a British. What is different between Harakat and Arab? Um, Harakat and Arab. I guess Arab me, uh, uh, Jazam. تشدید زبر زیر پیش سب کچھ آ جاتا ہے لیکن حرکات میں زبر زیر پیش ہی آتا ہے نو اپی ٹونٹ سکرپ ٹونٹ اینی ون وٹ اس ڈیفرنٹ بٹوین حرکات این ایراب کین اینی ون ٹیل می وٹ اس ڈیفرنٹ بٹوین حرکات این ایراب The last vowel is called Arab. The last vowel of a word is called Arab. Okay. And rest of the vowels are called Harakat. So Marfu, Mansub, and Majroor are basically Arab of a word. Okay. Marfu, Mansub, and Majroor are basically Arab of the word. And these Fatah, Kasra, Dhamma are Harakat of the word. Okay. Now, anyone tell me what is Arab and what is Harakat? Anyone? Salam alaikum. Fatiha Kesra Doma is Arakat. Last letter. Last letter is Arab. Last vowel is Arab. Last vowel is Arab, yes. Last vowel is Arab. Marfu, Mansub, and Majroor are basically Arab of the word, okay? No, no, no. Exactly. Now, you know that Arab usually change according to the sentence. When yeah. it is marfu, we say kitabun. When it is mansu, we say kitaban. When it is majroor, we say kitabin. Yes. So it has three Arab. Those words whose Arab changes. are called morab okay those words whose arab changes according to the sentence these are called morab word morab word and those words whose arab does not change are called mabni okay so what is difference between morab and mabni anyone mabni did not change arab of mabni does not change and what is morab does not change yet. what is morab change is yes arab last change according to sentence okay now can anyone tell me the examples of morab Give me any one example of more as well. More of word, a word which is more of a word words. which is mabni. Kitab, more of kitab is, is more of because sometimes it is kitabun, sometimes it is kitaban, sometimes it is kitabin. Okay, so that word Arab changes according to the sentence, so it is more of. Okay. Now give me an example of Mabni, a word which never change, no matter what kind of sentence. 
Man mean? Yes, man mean. Okay. Then America, France. Okay. These are Mughni words. In Arabic, around 90% are Morab and around 10% words are Mabni. Okay. Okay. 90% are Morab and 10% are Mabni words. So here he is telling you the counting from 11 till 19 is Mabni, which means it will never change. It will always remain like Salasata Ashara, will always remain Salasata Ashara no matter in which type of sentence you will put it. Okay, but from 1 to 10, the counting is more up. It changes according to the sentence, like sometimes it is Salasatu to Labin, sometimes it is Salasata to Labin, sometimes it is Salasati. To Labin. So from 3 to 10, the counting is more up. It changes according to the sentence. But from 11 till 19, from 11 till 19, it is Mabni. It never changes except the word 12. The word 12 changes according to the sentence. It is more up. But 11 and 13, 14, 15, 16, till 19, they are Mabni, they never change. Ms. Rina, read this point, number C. Okay, sir. This number are Mabni in the climbable. In the other word, they don't. We do not answer. The words is na in is na ta in is na asara and is na ta asarata are mura or declinable. When majur and mansu they become is nai and is. Is not Thai. Example in B is not Asara Raya Rialan. I have 12 Rial. Uridu is Nai Asara Rialan. I want 12 Rial. Then Hazal Kitaba is Na. This nai asara yalan. This book cost 12 yards. Now start from this point C again. Hmm? Start from Enter. here again. This number are not me in the client level. In the other word, they don't. They don't change to indicate their function in the sentence. This will become clear by comparing the number from three to 10 with this number. In the salah satu real Latin, I have three reals. Uridu salah satu real Latin, I want three reals. Hazal Kolamu Bisala We also better take the break. Join the meeting again using the same link. Okay.